Today, I'm standing here in my dried flower shop. Hi guys, I'm Tommy. I'm a Dutch florist, so not a native English speaker, but I will think you will notice during the video, so sorry on forehand. Um, and I will take you today in the world of dried flowers. They are really hot, they are on trend, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard to arrange them on the nicest way to decorate your interior. And I will help you with that. We will do that on two different ways. One, by arranging them in a really nice big face. And on the second part, I will show you how you can make the most really nice bloom posies out of it. Really love that word, bloom posy. Um, besides the vase and the dried flowers, you don't need so much. Um, it's really handy to have a scissor so we can cut them uh, and a piece of tape. Um, I will show you some trips and tricks what we will do with that. I would say, let's start. The first step we take is to put all the flowers in front of you on the table, sort by sort and color by color. Because then you know exactly how many stems we have to arrange in the vase. The flowers are on the table, the arranging can begin. And as you see, I made a small start with the bouquet. It's important to start with flowers that are a bit bigger, so that gives you a bit of structure. I work with a vase that is a bit narrower at the top, so that the stems remain nice and firm. It can be that you have a slightly different mix of flowers and colors. But that's not a problem, because working with them always remains the same. And then keep going until you are happy with the result. And a small tip, turn the face now and then, so you can see clearly where you missing some stems. So, I'm actually quite happy with the bouquet. The face is nicely filled, but still airy. Maybe I miss some color here in the height, and then the tape will come in handy, because that gives you the possibility to extend a shorter stem. I will add it here, and now it's complete. Of course, you may wish to use all the flowers in one bouquet, and then it will look like this. I have a lot of flowers left, and now I'm gonna make something beautiful out of them. As you can see, I've collected my most beautiful little faces, and now I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how to make the most cutest bloom posies in them. This is actually a question of having cuts. Play with height differences, and dare to cut your flowers. Then arrange all colors and textures together, and on this way, you create a really nice eye catcher for your home. Now we come to the last flowers of this creation. We made one big bouquet and we made cute posies out of the dried flowers. The last thing I want to say to you is have a lot of fun of making your own dried flower creation. Bye bye!